So you're the resident either on call or in the gross room and there is a muscle biopsy that comes in after hours. The tissue needs to be processed for light microscopy, enzyme histochemistry, and electron microscopy. So the first step is to make sure you have the supplies that you will need to process the biopsy tissue. In the cupboard beneath the bone saw there will be a liquid nitrogen container and the muscle kit. Within the kit there should be a pencil, some cork, gum travocant, metal spatula, and the 2-methylbutane container with attached hemostat. Adjacent to the cupboard in the flammable items locker is the 2-methylbutane. In the west side small refrigerator there should be a 50cc container of MPG EM fixative. Liquid nitrogen and the liquid nitrogen storage container, dry ice or the negative 80 freezer, small plastic biohazard bag, the three accession stickers, fresh gloves. All right, so when you get a muscle biopsy at night by yourself, sometimes you'll get two clamps, sometimes you just get one. Um, when you get two clamps, you want to pick the smaller one to go for electron microscopy because that's the one they can just drop in the tube and leave on the on the thing. But the bigger one you're going to divide for light and uh, enzyme histochemistry. Just grab a cork and write down the number on the cork. Ballpoint pen works. Put your container for your 2-methylbutane and we'll get the liquid nitrogen. It will burn you. Don't try this at home. How much do you need? Sorry. You gotta put a little more in than you normally need because it has to start the cooling process. You're gonna lose some of it in the cooling process. That's probably too much. Okay. We're just gonna let it dissipate for a while though. Because the reason why is you want this to be able to sit down in there without the liquid nitrogen, liquid nitrogen to come into the 2-methylbutane. About half full. Okay. Can't just drop it in there. Because what happens is it starts to boil. And what you're just trying to get the 2-methylbutane to is negative 160 60 degrees. And when you get there, it will be have a white crust surrounding the outside of this. I don't like my cork very big. Neuropath, they leave it big. I don't like it big. Take your gum. Travel camp and make a place to embed your tissue. Kind of make a, a moat in your mashed potatoes for your gravy. Got a lot of fat on it, we don't want the fat and we don't want the marks that the clamp has made, so I cut that part off. And where I cut, that's actually gonna go up in the... So clamp marks down in the gum, where you cut up. So you only cut one side then. Right. Something like that. So the gum's gonna hold it, now as you can see in there, see that white rim? That's what you want. To hold it like this, invert it. Hold on, let's get a clear close up. And then 20 seconds. One, two, four, five, six, seven, seven. And just put it in their bucket because it's labeled. Okay. Put it in the bag. Put the bag in the freezer. 
for at least five to ten minutes and then come back and put your specimen in the back so okay. it doesn't melt the specimen. And then you just let this open to air, let it dry. So this was the remaining clamp that we left okay. Goes in the EM fixative and the conical tube upside down like that. Put the lid on tight, invert it, and that's your part C. In the cooler next to Danielle. Make sure it remains upright so the fixative is always on the tissue. The remainder of what you cut off is for histology. And we know that's how we cut it off, so we try to keep the orientation. So you put it in there, how you know the muscle fibers are running. And then, mark your bag with pencil. You place it in your cassette, and that's the style of